For better or for worse, if Ace and Father, the long lost child, I want to know who it is, not later, now. I deserve to know. Everyone in this room deserves to know. Well, Nigel, I'm sorry. Mr. Buchanan entrusted this envelope to me for some reason, and I intend to follow his instructions about when to reveal whatever is inside it. That ought to do it then. Oh, and by the way, that is not the only thing Ace left Nigel here. So, for all of Nigel's years of faithful service, and I tell you, the key go above and beyond for me and mine. So I'm giving him the, I'm going to give him the keys to my yacht. The jet steward. And also for a kicker, the deed to my tropical island. Safe places. Enjoy. Asa obviously wanted it this way, Nigel. <laughs> that is not surprising, darling no. Nigel. You spend more time on that island with Asa than any of us. Well, that's only because he uh, was dodging him now. Excuse me. Wow. Ace sure did reward loyalty, didn't he? Yes, he's a very giving man. Seems to run the family. <clears throat> Can I call that? No, no, no. Please, not yet. I don't want to tell him there's another problem. No, yes, we don't actually know. Alright, I'm going to go try. I'm going to go try. Do you suppose someone should have counseled Ace on birth control? Yeah. Obviously they didn't. Don't you think this is real? I mean, could be his imaginary son. Now Paul was sharp as a tack right to the end, so I'm convinced that this will was written, witnessed, and signed exactly the way Ace of Buchanan wanted it. So I suppose the mysterious son will stay a mystery until Nigel feels the time is right. Oh, thank God, Doreen's not here. Oh, gosh, she would have gone crazy. She would have knocked Nigel to the floor. And ripped the letter right out of his hands. Again this happens? Again what happened? I thought you were pregnant once before. I made it very clear how I felt then. Oh, my God, you told her I was pregnant? Yeah, just Rex, you told me that you were pregnant. So you know, I thought you were young to be having children. And Rexy, what were you thinking? Look, you just let us Okay, you know what? Stop. Everyone. I was not pregnant the last time you jumped to conclusions, and I am not pregnant now. So you were talking about someone else that you knocked up? I didn't knock up anyone. It was a mistake. I misunderstood something, and I assumed that Adriana was going to admit it. Which I am so not. That's why we're here. Let's get to Roxy and explain it to her before she shot her mouth off about it. And we obviously didn't make it in time. Oh! <laughs> I am so relieved. Not that having a baby isn't a blessing, but to be taking care of a new grandchild and a new daughter at the same time. What new daughter? I'm sorry, darling. I, I meant to find a a special private time to tell you, but if everything goes as expected, as I hope, Langston Wilde is going to be your new foster sister. Did any of you touch that mask? Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, Star sauce and I were in house in our house. Yeah, on Halloween. Oh, did you two see the same thing? No, they didn't, but I'm not lying about it, okay? Oh, Star, relax. I'm not suggesting you are. I just want as complete a description as I can possibly get. Okay, well, I saw him through the window and he was wearing a hooded black cloak and he was wearing a mask, that exact mask. Or, uh, where were you supposed to meet Cole last night? At Howell Grounds, but he didn't show. He, he called me and said that he had some homework to make up. He said his computer crashed and he had to rewrite some big paper for history. All right, do you know where his computer is? Um, it should be, yeah, it's right here. Oh, 
Well, it's working now. We're going to stop next. That's the people that call sending out to rewrite. This computer is working. Say something, what'd she say? She wanted to talk about kids, starring Cole. I don't know, check the room again. I think it's weird that Mari ran off down here. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't as good for her as it was for him. Come on. But he's got a car, so let's get on the road. Look, you saw John. There's no way he's gonna leave until he finds Marty. 